We will learn in this lecture what is YAML and how to write YAML configuration files. YAML stands for YAML Ain't Markup Language and it is a data serialization language similar to JSON and XML and it is commonly used to write configuration files. YAML is designed to be easily readable for both humans and programs thanks to its syntax which relies on indentation to denote structures. It is used by various tools to write configuration files such as uh, GitLab and GitHub Actions to configure the CI-CD pipeline and Kubernetes to write the configuration files for the objects that we have in Kubernetes. These are just some of the tools that make use of YAML to represent configuration data and there are many other tools that we didn't mention here. Let's see an example of a piece of data represented in both XML, JSON and YAML to see more the simplicity of YAML compared to XML and JSON. So here we represent the same data in three different format in XML, in JSON and in YAML. The data here is an array called team members containing one item that represents the data of Bob, which is a backend developer, and his salary is $60,000 in a year. Let's start learning the basics of YAML. The name of a YAML file must end with .yaml or with .yaml without the letter A. Both the two extensions are accepted and any file ending with one of these two extensions will be treated as a YAML file. Let's learn now how to represent data in YAML. We will first of all learn how to represent key value pairs in YAML. We will assume that we want to represent the data about a developer in our team. His name is John and he works as a backend developer. A key value pair in YAML is represented like this by assigning a value to a key. Here we assign the value John to the name key. A key and its associated value are always separated by a colon followed by a space. The same if we want to store the job of John, we will store it using a key value pair as we did for storing at the name. The two key value pairs that we have here are separated from each other, but it is better to find a way to group them together because they represent data about the same person, which is John. That can be done using dictionaries in YAML. The name of the dictionary can be, for example, John, and under the dictionary name, we will mention the key value pairs that represent data about John. The key value pairs of the same dictionary must be at the same indentation level. If the job key, for example, is indented with some extra spaces compared to the name key, this will make the key value pair part of the name property and not part of the John dictionary, which is not logical here. And this will also make your YAML file invalid because the name property is already set to John, so it cannot accept additional values. So as we already know that John is a backend developer and he can write programs in different programming languages such as Python and Java. To represent the scales of John in the YAML file, it is better to store them in a list or any array. In the dictionary that represents the data about John, we can add another key for example, scales, and the value associated to this key will be a list containing the scales of John. All the items of a list in YAML must be at the same indentation level. They must start with a dash, 
which indicates that this item is an item of the list. So here we have a list called skills containing two items, Python and Java. To make this example more complex and to learn how to nest lists and dictionaries inside each other, in addition to the data of John, we will store in the YAML file some data about Mary, which is a front-end developer, and he can work with both React and Angular. Our YAML file is now called developers.yaml. We will first of all set the team key to developers, just to say that we are storing the data of our developers in this YAML file. Then we will have a list uh, called team members, which will contain a set of items. Each item will be a dictionary representing the data of a member of our developers team. Here, because we have two developers, we will have two items and both of them are dictionaries. The first one is called John for representing uh, the data of John. And the second one is called Mary for storing the data of Mary. Each one of the two dictionaries will contain a three key value pairs, a key called name for storing the name of the developer, another called job for storing the job, and a third one called skills, which will be a list for storing the skills of the developer. So that's a quick introduction to YAML. I hope that everything is clear and thank you very much.